ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਕਮਲਨ ਕਨਵਰਸੇਸ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਨਿੱਘਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹਰ ਮੰਗਲਵਾਰ ਦੀ ਦੁਪਹਿਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੰਗਤ ਟੀਵੀ ਦੇ ਲੰਡਨ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਤੋਂ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬਾਤਾਂ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਤੇ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬਾਤਾਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਤੇ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਪਿਛਲੀ ਵਾਰ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਪਸੰਦ ਕੀਤਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਫੀਡਬੈਕ ਰਹੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹੋ ਪਸੰਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਪੋਜ਼ਿਟਿਵ ਫੀਡਬੈਕ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਸੰਗ ਟੈਲੀਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਫਾਈਨੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਕੰਟਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਨਾਲ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਰਿਆ ਕਰੋ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਯੋਗਦਾਨ ਨਾਲ ਛੋਟਾ ਛੋਟਾ ਹਿੱਸਾ ਪਾਉਣ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਗ ਟੈਲੀਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਮਜ਼ਬੂਤ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਵਧੀਆ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਸਨੇ ਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਲੰਡਨ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਤੋਂ ਨਵੇਕਲੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅਸੀਂ ਲਿਆਣ ਲਈ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਨਿਰੰਤਰ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਬਰਮਿੰਘਮ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਾਡਾ ਮੇਨ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਵਧੀਆ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਨਿਰੰਤਰ ਉਲੀਕੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੱਕ ਪਹੁੰਚਾਏ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਭਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ www.sangatelevision.org ਤੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਜੇ ਵੈਬਸਾਈਟ ਵਿਜ਼ਿਟ ਕਰੋ ਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟ ਡੈਬਿਟ ਸੈਟਅਪ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸੰਗਤ ਟੈਲੀਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਬਣ ਸਕੋ ਇਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਕਰਿਆ ਕਰੋ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਖਾਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹੈ ਖਾਸ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਪਰਸਨ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬਾਤਾਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਬੜਾ ਚੰਗਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੰਜੋਏ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਲੰਬੀਆਂ ਲੰਬੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਤੇ ਕਈ ਵਾਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਇਹ ਪਹਿਣਾ ਲਈ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਲਿਖ ਕੇ ਲਾਣਾ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਚੁੱਪ ਦਾ ਦਾਨ ਬਖਸ਼ੋ ਕਿ ਥੋੜੇ ਦੇਰ ਲਈ ਕੁਆਇਟ ਹੋ ਜਾਓ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕ ਲਾਗੂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਅਸ ਐਜ਼ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਬੀਇੰਗਸ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਚੁੱਪ ਰਹਿਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਯਕੀਨ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਬੋਲਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਯਕੀਨ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਆ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਕਹਾਵਤ ਹੈ ਸਪੀਕ ਓਨਲੀ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਇੰਪਰੂਵ ਸਾਇਲੈਂਸ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸਪੀਚ ਇਜ਼ ਸਿਲਵਰ ਸਾਇਲੈਂਸ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਲਡਨ ਜੇ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਉੱਤਮ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਉਦੋਂ ਹੀ ਬੋਲੋ ਜਦ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਸ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ 'ਚ ਕੁਝ ਇੰਪਰੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਲਿਆ ਸਕੋ ਜਦ ਅਸੀਂ ਰੋਜ਼ਮਰਾ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਜੀਨੇ ਆ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕੁ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਵੱਲ ਧਿਆਨ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਆ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਆ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਵੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਬੋਲੋ ਸੋਚ ਕੇ ਬੋਲੋ ਐਸਾ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੋ ਪ੍ਰਭਾਵਸ਼ਾਲੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਿਸ ਨਾਲ ਜੀਵਨ ਬਦਲ ਸਕੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਉਹੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਬੋਲਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਜੋ ਗਿਆਨ ਵੰਡਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਉਸ ਨਾਲ ਜੀਵਨ ਬਦਲਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਸਾ ਕੁਝ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕੁ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕੁ ਐਸਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਪਣੇ ਲਈ ਬਤੀਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਜੋ ਕੁਆਇਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੋਏ ਜੋ ਸਾਇਲੈਂਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੋਏ ਤੇ ਕਈ ਵਾਰ ਇੰਜ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਆਲਸ ਵਾਲਾ ਸ਼ਾਂਤ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਮਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਰੌਲਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇੰਨਾ ਲਾਊਡ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਅਟ ਪੀਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋ ਪਾਉਂਦੇ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜ਼ੁਬਾਨ ਦੀ ਚੁੱਪੀ ਮਨ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਕਨਵਰਟ ਹੋਵੇ ਸੋ ਐਸੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬਾਤਾਂ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਆ ਜਦ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਧਰਮ ਸਥਾਨ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਉਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਤੇ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਦੀ ਤਲਾਸ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਇਆ ਹੈ ਲੱਭਦੇ ਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਆ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਲੱਭੇ ਪੀਸ ਲੱਭੇ ਹੈਪੀਨੈਸ ਲੱਭੇ ਬਲਿਸ ਲੱਭੇ ਐ ਸਾਰੇ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਲੱਭਦੇ ਲੱਭਦੇ ਲੱਭਦੇ
ਅਜੀਬ ਜਿਹਾ ਟਿਕਾਓ ਇੱਕ ਅਜੀਬ ਜਿਹਾ ਪੀਸ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਚਿਹਰੇ ਤੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਆਇਆ ਬਾਅਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਮੌਕਾ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਤੇ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਐਸੀ ਕੋਈ ਸੰਸਾ ਚਲਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਦੇ ਲਈ 1 ਮਿੰਟ ਸਾਇਲੈਂਸ ਰੱਖਣ ਲਈ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੇਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਆਓ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਕਰਾਉਨੇ ਆ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹ ਇਟਾਲੀਅਨ ਮੂਲ ਦੇ ਨੇ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬਾਤਾਂ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾਤਰ ਵਿਸ਼ਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਕਨਵਰਸੇਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ I would like to introduce Andre Karani. Andre, a very warm welcome to Kamala Thank Kamala you very much. Sat Sri Kal. Sat Sri Kal ji. And uh, it's lovely to have you here in this program. I was just telling the audiences probably you must have caught some information about it because to see thodi thodi Punjabi jande ho. Yeah, main thodi thodi Punjabi bol da ha. Thodi thodi. Thodi thodi. So uh, what I was trying to tell the audiences was that when I first saw you in the Gurdwara I saw as I, I was mentioning to you as well a certain kind of peace about you So what do you generally do what's what do you do for your livelihood introduce yourself and just tell us something about yourself Tam what to see the aloha Oh thank you um, I work for a, a charity which is called the Big Ben Salamino Prayer Yeah and um, what we do we promote one minute of silence around the world hmm. and uh, what we ask is basically is to give one minute each day of silent prayer for world peace hmm. uh, the prayer has got uh, a lot of history because it actually began during the second world war hmm. and uh, the um, uh, wesley tudor paul organized uh, um, millions of people to uh, give one minute of silence hmm. uh, to help the, the war to come to an end and it was really beautiful because it had the support of uh, uh, winston churchill and king george the sixth and what actually happened every every, every day at nine o'clock on the bbc radio they would play the chimes of the big bang and everyone would respect one minute of silence mm. not just uh, in uh, in the uk but uh, throughout the commonwealth as well as, as well as uh, in uh, the air shelter in the hospitals on the battlefields so you can imagine the power of that one minute of silence where mm. all people just stop doing what they were doing and it was actually amazing because when the uh, the war came to an end they uh, they were interviewing some of the nazi officers and one of the officers said uh, we knew you had a secret weapon which was uh, forecasted every night at nine o'clock uk time but we could never find out what it was and they didn't know that that weapon was uh, the power of prayer mm. you uh, mentioned about this organization how you know the idea as you said came from the world war how did you get to join it you know world war was long time ago normally people would say it's long time ago you just wear poppies or in november and that's it yes you know you're absolutely right uh, uh, we were very blessed because this lovely lady her name was uh, dorothy foster mm-hmm. she just recently passed away in 1994 she revived the the, the prayer mm. because she was very well aware that there are so many wars uh, still nowadays everywhere and they said that there is something we can do about it and uh, she uh, of age of age was in the 90s and she couldn't work any longer and mm. she decided to retire a very inspirational woman so she asked Ivy Smith a trustee of the charity since uh, the very beginning 1994 uh, to become the new chair and because uh, I know Mrs Ivy Smith mm-hmm. so I've been going to for a uh, meditation for uh, almost 20 years now okay she asked me about in 2000 and uh, towards the end of 2010 2011 to become one of the trustee and since then the charity had reached probably 2 million just over 2 million people hmm. and it's been an amazing journey because in such a short amount of time with the uh, why gurus uh, will hmm. and uh, and power uh, the, the prayer has now reached over 44 million people in 64 countries around hmm. the world and uh, i i pray to god that today is uh, is an is another opportunity which i know it is uh, so i thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me this opportunity to to reach out many more people around the world for you to join and together we can create such a power of light and prayer that will change the consciousness of this world 
it's very interesting because at the time when most of the things are owed to science you know like science is doing everything the part of prayer in our lives every day is going down and down you know the, true, it's yes. diminishing the time we would normally spend so the time my grandparents would spend in meditation or prayer vis-a-vis what my parents did and what i'm doing and what my kids are doing there's so much change so how do you see this you know the still uh, keeping the prayer bit important and still connecting it through generations so how do we mm. pass on the prayer system to our children well i think of it uh, we all play such a big part and uh, i think what you said is so relevant to 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 the global i mean to, to all the different religions around the world and uh, I think, uh, you know, w- what we are saying is that why don't we start with one minute of silence? Mm. And uh, a minute of silence can be spoken by all people. And uh, one minute is nothing in comparison to, uh, you know, how much time we got every day. Mm. And uh, within the silence, we can really connect to the source, to the inner peace. And uh, when we connect to that inner peace, we are uh, already affecting the outer world because the outer world is only a reflection of uh, our inner world. Hmm. So if we can work together and we all join together, people of different uh, nations and cultures and religions, we can actually create such a powerful light that it will affect the consciousness. And what do I mean when I say the consciousness? It means that people will realize that we need to go back uh, to the, maybe the old ways where uh, God was so important mm. uh, in people's life. Uh, and uh, and uh, yes, bring that spirituality forward again. So I think that, uh, like you said, you know, we have to do something now for the, for the generation to come. We have to do something now uh, for our children, for our children's children. Uh, and uh, if God has given us a tool, and prayer is probably the most powerful, if not the most powerful tool we have, we can make a difference. And I think, uh, Andre has said a very important thing that Gurbani has said that what is inside is reflected outside. What is inside is reflected outside. What is inside is reflected outside. Pagat Pipa Ji, the Shabbat has said that what is inside is reflected outside. What is inside is reflected outside. So, what is inside is reflected outside. उस खोज में जैसे किन्हीं अपनी एनर्जी स्पेंड करने हैं इस गलत है डिपेंड करता है। तो जैसे साढे अंदर दी कोई वॉर चल रही है, कोई परेशानी है, वो बार साढे जीवन में जैसे साढे आड़े द्वारे में जैसे रिफ्लेक्ट होएगी होएगी। कई बारी ये भी ऐसे कई बारी कहते हैं कि से बंदे का मूड खराब है, happy we say which part of the bed you got up from today you look very <laughs> sunny and happy so i think it's so true if, if uh, as you said what is inside is reflected every day on the outside world so how we connect to our inner soul is really important and this consciousness would in a way then affect to the world why do you think god in that sense has lost its presence in our lives you know initially god was everywhere and then uh, it has come to the point where technology has taken over everything. So the, you know, the, the essence God. of God. Yes, absolutely. Hmm. Well, again, this is just my opinion. And uh, so this is just my opinion. But I believe that, you know, God, you know, is always there. Hmm. God is listening to every word that we speak. Absolutely. He's listening to every thought that we have. He's uh, looking at all our actions and he's present in uh, everywhere, in every, um, in every piece of gra- glass, you know, grass there. It's, uh, God is, uh, is all, all there just waiting for, uh, for us. And I think it comes down to uh, our own decisions, so what we want to do in our life. Uh, and it's the way, of, um, uh, the way that mankind wants to follow. And uh, I do believe myself that uh, mankind has lost its way because uh, obviously um, I, I, you know, you, when you, do, you talk to people, you, you realize that uh, God doesn't enter into a conversation anymore. God is not so, he doesn't play any part in some people's life. Uh, and it's, it is incredibly sad because God is uh, the one who has given us life in the mm. first place. Uh, 
And uh, all that he asks of us is that we, you know, we acknowledge him and we, we love him and we respect him. And in my experience, uh, since I've been on this wonderful journey with, with the silent men of prayer, is that God will give you everything you ask for. Hmm. Uh, maybe not necessarily what you, you, know, you, you want, but what you need. Hmm. And God will meet all your needs. Hmm. And uh, what is more powerful in life than peace, inner peace? It's the greatest gift uh, we can ask for. And if we work for uh, uh, the, um, uh, you know, to, we do everything we can, our saver, to, to try to improve uh, our world, our, yeah, our, our world, the planet Earth, and we do everything we can in our own power to make this world a better place, uh, uh, God is looking. God is looking at you. And uh, he, I know that he is, this is just my belief, but he makes notes on about, you know, everything is recorded in the Book of Life about what we do. And if we really want to make this place a better place by our own actions and, and, and words and the way we, we speak to, to other people, then it's going to make such a big difference to our society and it's going to improve uh, individual karma as well as uh, global karma. And we are going to really, we're already doing such important work for, uh, for, uh, for the world to come, you know, for the future generations. What do you do for a livelihood? Like, what me, keeps me, you? Me school teacher, huh? Mm. So I'm uh, me bohod busy, huh? Uh, obviously, uh, because I got a full time job, so I'm an ordinary man, and uh, I go to work Monday to Friday. But I do give uh, an awful lot of time to my uh, charity work. You uh, also mentioned, you know, when you started this, how, you, like, you you given twenty years into meditation. What prompted you into meditation? You know, normally the general perception of people from India or the Orient is, you know, West has got nothing to do with meditation. You know, it's just eat and drink, make merry. There's no place mm -hmm. for normal, you know, like with, we get this, this kind of thing is normally associated with the people in Orient, like they meditate and do other things. Well, uh, How did you get introduced to meditation? I'm going to be very honest. Uh, I mean, uh, I think since I was very young, I always used to look uh, very deeply, uh, even at other people. And uh, sometimes, uh, you know, you go to uh, different temples and, and churches and uh, all different temples of all different religions. Mm. And sometimes you see people are really, you know, um, focused in, 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 the, in the prayers and they're really praying really hard. And then sometimes uh, I, I've seen people sort of coming out of uh, the, the place of worship for different religions. And, uh, and then we were talking to, uh, so, you know, the family men may be talking to their own wives or their own children in a very abrupt way. And uh, it always made me feel incredibly sad because I could see their devotion to God. Uh, and then uh, the minute we were leaving the place of worship, we were talking in a very different way. Mm. The, the whole mm. thing was sort of changing mm. uh, towards mm. their own uh, family members. Mm. And uh, I really had to question myself. Uh, and uh, I know that if we are looking for a true spirituality, when we are communing with, uh, with God, uh, whatever God we are uh, you know, following in, in the different religions, then surely we must know that when we meet another human being, uh, we are again talking uh, to the God uh, within themselves. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, I, I could see that somehow it wasn't um, making sense to hmm. me. Hmm. And, uh, you know, people who had a great, a great belief, then they didn't seem to uh, carry that belief they had within the place of worship in their own uh, everyday Lives living. Live. Uh, hmm. True. And I came across uh, wonderful uh, uh, photographs of saints. And uh, I used just to spend so much time looking at, at the photographs and I could see the peace. You know, the state of enlightenment mm. and real, mm. true peace. Mm. And uh, I could see how much people were looking for peace in their own lives. Mm. And I said, you know, obviously we have to search within ourselves uh, for the answers. And it's not right to blame. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, God is not here. God is not listening. But God is always here. And it's up to us to make those changes. And mm -hmm. if we do, miracles happen in our lives. I, I believe it because I believe it totally because uh, I'm experiencing it every day. Mm. 
so this prompted you like uh, andre the personal experience i think sade nal vi bada kuch jayega jidda ohna ne apne jeevan de to dasya hai ki chote hundya to hi uh, ek different reflective mind se ohna da dekhde se ki loki jad prayer karan jande hai ya apne apne temples vich jande hai parmatma nal bada seriously connect hon di koshish karde hai par jad wapas aande hai te oh cheez ghar vich nahi hai ohna di rozmarra di zindagi vich nahi hai सो ये साडे उत्ते भी सारे सारे तो लागू होंगे क्योंकि जब अं गुरु घर में जाने कोई गुरु साहब की गल सुन जाने या कर जाने मंशा तो गुरु घर जाने यही है कि गुरु तो कोई सिक्ख्या लैके अपना जीवन बदल सकी पर उ भी असी अपने मटीरियल लाइफ में ना लैके जाने वापस भी आने तो उ चीज़ा लैके आने गुरु की कोई गल ग्रहण करके नहीं आते तो जेड़े असी गुरु की गल करते भी हाँ वो सिर्फ जबानी कलाम ही करते हैं साढ़े जीवन में उसका रिफलैक्शन नहीं मिलता सो so, जब तक साढ़े जीवन में वो रिफलैक्शन नहीं है असी कि अपना आला दुआला बदल सकते हैं तो ये सोचने वाली गल तो है ही है क्योंकि कई बार ये परसनली मैं भी सोचती है कि एक सैंटिफिक जिस तरह एक्सपैरमेंट है जिस तरह हाइड्रोजन तो ऑक्सीजन में मिक्स किया राइट अमाउंट में एच टू ओ बनाया जो सही मात्रा च मिक्स किया तो पानी बनना ही चाहिए सो so, गुरबाणी जब अं पढ़ते हैं उसका मेन मकसद यह है कि साडा जीवन तब्दील होना ही चाहिए तो जे नहीं हो रहा है तो कितने ना कि उस कनकॉक्शन प्रॉब्लम है प्रोबेबली असी कोई चीज़ सही नहीं कर रहे क्योंकि दवाई जी है जेडे फॉर्मूला बनी है उसका असर तो होना ही है तो वो नहीं जो असर कर रहे हैं तो प्रोबेबली साड़ी डायजेसन खराब है प्रोबेबली असी गलत दवाई लै रहे हैं प्रोबेबली असी कोई चीज़ ठीक नहीं कर रहे हैं या सही परहेज नहीं कर रहे हैं सो so, जो गुरबाणी का साडे जीवन में रिफलैक्शन होनी चाहिए है जो गुरबाणी तो असी सेध लैके असी अपना जीवन जीना चाहिए है जे असी नहीं जी रहे हैं सो द प्रॉब्लम इज़ नॉट विद द रिलीजन यू सी द प्रॉब्लम इज़ नॉट विद द फेथ और वट एवर फेथ यू बिलोंग टू द प्रॉब्लम इज़ समवेयर विद इन अस दैट इफ वी कॉन्ट फॉलो the word of god so sometimes people say you know most most uh, problematic thing in the world is religion because a lot of fights happen over it we are ready to kill each other over religion han ji and the problem and sometimes i think it's the way we reflect upon our own faiths han ji i totally agree with you yes so how do you see you know in terms when every day we see that you know uh, it's the west attacking Uh, the middle east is seen as you know christians attacking muslims it or it could be just a political agenda really but everything is seen as an attack on a religion or or we see a certain a religious person or say in the name of religion a lot of people being killed all over the world well i think that you know when it comes to the global uh, environment to what's going on around the world is said that we can really get caught up with that hmm. and really get lost in that as well hmm. and you know you got that exp- expression why guru da pana you know it's all uh, also why guru's play hmm. you know and it's god's play what is happening hmm. but i think where our power is is what we do individually hmm. to make this world a better place hmm. uh, and if we can really come together and uh, realize that we we have got so much power and we can come together collectively with a, a word prayer then uh, we can uh, do make such a difference and we're very blessed because we got some lovely patrons mm. uh, and i remember that uh, uh, i met up with uh, um by his sahib mohinda singh in birmingham mm. and uh, we were talking about uh, the power of prayer and the power of uh, the sun in mean, prayer and uh, it was just reminding me you know about uh, all of the, um, the energy which has been created around the, the world and uh, it has not been created by god hmm. this energy has been been created by the actions of uh, us you know by by ourselves and by our ancestors and uh, only by that power of the collective light we can diminish this uh, this energy and make it into more of a positive energy which in turn will affect the way you know people think people will think in a more enlightened way and we see that we have to make changes like looking after our planet better mm. and where people come from a place of um, maybe more love 
mm. and uh, even towards uh, the planet Earth, and also a place where what can I get out of you? Mm. You know, mm. which seems to be a, a strong mentality of nowadays uh, getting uh, planet. A yeah, rather than get giving it, yes, rather yes. giving it. You know, and uh, you know, you come across so many people if they can uh, give you a bad deal and make money out of you. Mm. You know, they don't think about it twice. And I think that uh, we do have the power to, to make a change. And you speak to people and people say, oh, but what can I do? We, you know, we don't have the power to, to make the changes. But we have got an amazing power, hmm. which is what we can do, you know, within ourselves. Looking at the patrons, you also mentioned Pai Mahinder mm -hmm. Singh, Birmingham, uh, Gurdarik, Nishkam Sevak, Jetha, Birmingham, De Mukhine, and many other institutions that are doing it in Sangha Television, which we अपने अगवाई कर देने पर महेंद्र सिंह दे उदा में बहुत कंट्रीब्यूशन है सिख संगता जान दिया ने एंड uh, आल्सो uh, बाबा अमर सिंह बाबा अमर सिंह yes. नानक सर क्लियर है वाले जेड़े के गुरु नानक एकेडमी हैज व्हिच है ते और बहुत सारीयां ऐसीयां दुनिया भर दे विच एजुकेशनल संस्थावां चलांदे ने ओ इना दे पैटर्न हाउ डिड यू कम अक्रॉस दोस टू पीपल आई थिंक इट्स more relevant to our audiences, that how did you come across both of them? Uh, well, basically because of uh, the nature of my work, I have to go and meet a lot of religious uh, leaders who are in charge of big communities, are doing some uh, magnificent work out there. And uh, so I just uh, went to the school in ACE to, to meet Babaji. And uh, obviously, uh, you know, as soon as you come across these uh, um, wonderful saints, you are instantly touched within yourself. Uh, by the, by the beautiful light and their life of service. You know, they gave everything up just to serve humanity mm. and they do it to the full. And obviously they, they saw um, uh, the power of, of this prayer and to have them, you know, as patrons, uh, it was very inspirational to us mm. for the charity. And how did yes, you meet uh, across by Mahinder Singh in Birmingham? Did you also I, I, I get the same there. work for I, the organization? I, I, I called and uh, some, somebody made me, made me aware of, uh, of his work in Birmingham. So I, I called uh, and he answered the phone. Uh, and um, we just made an appointment and I went up to Birmingham and I met him. And again, it was really a, a wonderful experience. So and was that how yes, you were introduced to Sikhism as well? Your you know, your introduction to Sikhism? Is that how it all started? Yes, uh, um, maybe especially with uh, uh, Babaji, uh, Baba Masin J in, uh, in ACE. I've seen the work he does and how he gives, uh, you know, education to, um, you know, children who wouldn't have uh, any opportunity in their life. Yes. Uh, and I find his work very inspirational. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I saw you there uh, at the Gurdwara where yes. you were there, because just work they kept the job they said they part children and jada ke kese mantav lay america the which kita jara so churasi luck job they said they part the opera like it again they who are what did we sang it cut you on the at the end of the program job they said they part kita jan then you were also part of that you know the reading of the hymns and stuff mm -hmm. how 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 was that experience for you uh, do you was, normally uh, do that or was it just you know one-off thing while you were sitting there you joined in the prayers no, no i mean uh, i you know i believe like in your religions of past lives and uh, i know that uh, you know people sometimes uh, they you know they focus on, on their own religion but sometimes i think you know at the end of the day we all had many lives and I really believe that. And probably we've been uh, everything in our lives. We probably experienced different religions. So at the end of the day, it's like, for me, you know, God is the, the destination. Yes. There are many paths, but the destiny, you know, is uh, just it's one a common goal for all of us. And uh, obviously, every time I go into a good war, um, I do feel a, like a strong um, connection and a very deep memory in my soul as well. So every time I go into Gurdwara, I do feel a great sense of happiness. Mm, mm. So it's, uh, yes, yeah, definitely very strong. It's very interesting because normally, just like Andre Dasra said, when we go to we feel a deep sense of happiness or connection. And I wonder if we every day go to we feel connect feel karne. You know, sometimes I probably think that because you are born in a certain uh, faith, 
you just take it for granted because you see people like you exploring it and feeling that connect. But people like us probably, you know, who are born in the faith, because you're born in the faith, you take it for granted and you don't make so much of an effort to research it and actually to feel the connect. We go there and it eventually turns like a social event where you eat and drink and meet your friends and come back, but not probably at the same level of, uh, you know, the spiritual connect that probably yes, someone sir. like you would feel. But do you think that that would happen to uh, other other faiths as well? You know, probably Christians going to church and they do the same thing because they're born in that faith. It's more of a social thing than actually a spiritual experience. Do you think that? Well, to be honest with you, I think that every temple is the house of God. And every time I walk inside the temple, I feel at home because, mm. uh, you mm. know, obviously, you mm. know, we are all very uh, spiritual people. We mm. are all seeking mm. God. And mm. so to, to walk in any temple, mm. you obviously feel yourself very drawn to it. Um, I have to say that when I do enter a Gurdwara, I feel a very deep, deep, deep connection. So, yes, and I always follow my feelings anyway, because if I've, in my experience, when I follow my feelings, you know, that's the right way, it's to, the right go. way, to, right go. way to go. Follow your heart. Yeah, I think what I was trying to figure mm. out was generally, because you are a spiritually aware person, so you would see whatever temple you would see as a house of God and you'll feel that connect. Yeah, like, but uh, normally the people, you know, who are generally born in the particular faith, because we've seen, you know, sometimes we really wonder, I've seen some in uh, where the Sikhs are trying to, you know, propagate their faith in Western countries. They're bought over churches which have closed down now and converted them to Gurdwaras. Yes. But then again, now new generation is uh, popping questions that is opening Gurdwaras the only answer. How do we draw the young people in unless we connect through their own lives and souls are connected? It's very difficult because probably we'll, we'll end up being the same as closed churches. Probably not, I don't know. But that's what has happened, you know. When the, as people probably lose faith in faith or faith in God or something else takes over the lives. So like we, we are buying our churches and converting them to Gurdwaras. How do, you know, there's a, always a question, I think for every religious religion at this point in time with technology taking over so much. Absolutely, no, I, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, uh, you know, sometimes you see people using uh, the technology even within, within the house of God. Uh, yes, yes. Which uh, I find always very um, upsetting. It uh, is. Because I mm. think that, you know, this, I can only speak for myself, but when I go to the house of God, it's, you know, it's between me and God. Uh, mm. And then when I leave the house of God, I can get onto the technology and uh, speak yes, to, yes. to the rest of the world. And I take your point uh, very seriously because I, I think you are absolutely right. Uh, this is the new way of the world. And I think that uh, if we want to make a change, the only way we are going to make it is by people of different religions coming together and uh, by coming to, yes, to a collective, massive prayer. Mm. And uh, w through the power of prayer, we can um, really affect the, the consciousness even of the, of, the, of the young generation. Because the young generation, and this is for all religions, you know, if, when you speak to, to people who are in charge of, uh, of the temples, you know, sometimes you hear that it's, um, it's becoming more difficult mm. because uh, obviously technology is playing such a big part. But uh, we do have, um, we do have uh, the, the power to make that change. And I hope that today more people will join uh, the One Minute of Silence. They can register, you can register on the website. And, um, and the more people we, we gather together, you know, obviously the, the more we can make a difference. You being a parent and a teacher, yes. how do you yeah. tell the children? the importance of faith, the importance of prayer, the importance of God in our lives? Well, I, I think it all comes down to families, hmm. more than uh, teachers. Than teachers yes, mm -hmm. because uh, obviously being a teacher, 
is um, if you are a teacher, you know, in a, just an ordinary school, you, you got to cover all the different uh, subjects and, you know, obviously you, you got a, a job to do. But I think when it comes down to spirituality, it's so, so important that this comes from, uh, from the parents mm. and that children are, um, you know, are taken to, to the temples and they are actually taught how to pray. And um, yeah, I love when I hear about children who pray before they eat their meal and I think it's so sacred and it's just so beautiful. But how to say, I, I went to uh, India and I visited, I visited some Gurdwaras there and I saw, and, and I was actually sharing it with uh, uh, Mrs. Ivy Smith, my, my meditation teacher, and I was so incredibly touched in the Gurdwaras when you saw uh, these families coming. You know, when you, you, you go, uh, you present yourself just, uh, just in front of a holy book, uh, people have to, you know, kneel down and, yes. and bow in front of a living God, the living guru. And there are so little babies, you know, parents helping little babies, you know, maybe one year of age or, you know, two years of age and you're daughter. Trying to. And you see them, you know, uh, uh, teaching the children such a respect, mm. you know, for, uh, for your uh, living uh, uh, guru. And I was really touched. And the same when I saw very um, old uh, women who could hardly walk. And they walked into the Gurdwaras. And you could see that they had maybe knees problem and they find it very mm. difficult. Uh, and it might have taken them something like uh, five minutes to actually kneel down and then get up again. But they still did but it. But they did it, yeah. And for me, that was so soul-inspiring and so godly to see such a devotion. Uh, in people to, to do that. Mm. And I think if we can pass that to our children, uh, then uh, of course, you know, it makes such a big difference. It, it would. And how, would, how do you do as a parent? Do you, do you think with your children also, you know, surrounded by technology and all this, how do you tell them to, you know, or, or do you do a family so we, prayer time? We obviously, you know, we, we pray, we pray, you know, I think most of the times, even before we eat, uh, um, sometimes, okay, life is very, very hectic. But my, my first belief is what I teach them. Hmm. You know, it's about, uh, I think, the first prayer is how we treat other people. Hmm. And I think that is probably the most important one for me as a, as a family man, as a father. Hmm. And I, I want my children to, to understand that it's so important to, to respect others and it's so important how we speak to, to others. So I... I place a lot of um, a responsibility on myself in the way that I speak to them. And uh, again, you know, like I said earlier on, if I see, you know, family people coming out, family men coming out of, a, of a places of worship and shouting at the family, it does make incredibly sad. And, I, and if I want to teach my children to be godly in their own up, 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 up bringing, mm. then it's so important that I have to show that example first. And, and then I think uh, um, my life, your life, and your life can become a living prayer just by the way we live our own lives. Mm. You know, it's all very well to pray two hours a day, mm. and then we go outside and we cheat somebody else or we are rude to somebody else. Uh, then uh, there is no godliness in that. Mm, but if, if we can even pray even less, but then, uh, you know, because we are so busy and of course we have to earn our living. But when we go outside, we live a life that is a living prayer because we, we show respect to people, we try to uplift people, yes. we see somebody who is suffering, we give them some kind words, which is enough to uplift them then, you know, what more can we do than that? Absolutely. I think Andre the Jada Vajane he neke uh navy unna sama prayer which ya bani padan which goes on sakde. But apne jivan which thoda thoda katra katra uh roshni bani to lake se the lake apne jivan positive karye asa apna jivan manaye kese dusra no heal kar sake, dusra the dukhnu share kar sake. किसे दे तकलीफ नो समझना उस दे तकलीफ नो दूर करन विच हेल्प करना किसे दे दुख विच उनो यही पूछना कि तुसी ठीक हो किसे वाल मुस्कुरा के देखना किसे बुजुर्ग नाल दो गल्ला करनिया आई थिंक ए सारीया चीजा हौली हौली जिवे जिवे असी सेद गुरु तो लेई जाने हां साडे जीवन विच रोशनी होई जांदी उस रोशनी नु किवे असी बाकी सारेया तक उस रोशनी नु उस खुशी नु उस ज्ञान नु शेयर कर सकदे हां कि ओना दे जीवन ते भी असर पवे ਤੇ ਜੇ ਸਾਡਾ ਜੀਵਨ ਚੰਗਾ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਉਹੀ 
ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਦੂਸਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰਭਾਵ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੇ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਚ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਪਾਰਸ ਬਣਨਾ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਲੋਹੇ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੋਨੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਚੇਂਜ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ there is a uh, simile you know example normally which is given in gurbani is there there is a touchstone uh, we call it, it it's called paris but it has special abilities it can actually change uh, a wrought iron or um, an iron thing into gold so if it mm. touches it the iron no matter how rusted it is it will turn to gold so that's what i said the gurbani or the guru has such power when it touches your life it actually transforms it so the touchstone is there to transform our lives but i don't know probably we haven't touched it or you know otherwise the lives would change otherwise you know there would be so much peace and happiness and all. and do you feel any resistance your you know children say no dad we don't want to do at this time sometimes because when i try to ask my boys to sit and meditate for a while say is it 5 minutes or 10 minutes mom how many how many minutes do we do and how do we make an effort to let them see that no you have this 10 minutes are special you don't get distracted do you do you find that as well well what i find is as as a as a father is that i never force them to do mm. anything because when i force them i know that it's not going to come with the right no, vibration no, because no. power of prayer is very powerful if it comes from the heart absolutely with a vibration of of love or something who really wants to to give something to yes. this world so what i try to do with my own children i'm trying to make them aware uh, of the, the suffering which is out there and how in, about how incredibly lucky we are in our society mm. because you know you hear people who sort of complain and i know we are living a very difficult time mm. we've got a recession and it's not easy but we still have got so much we got Absolutely. food we got a shelter we got uh, you know a warm house uh, and i trying to make them aware and sometimes we look at uh, other videos where you know you can see children who have got nothing in their life they don't have you know clean Enough water, food or water and that is a teaching by itself uh, mm. you know mm. and then when the children see that they suddenly realize that they are indeed very fortunate So sometimes I got my younger daughter she sometimes she will say okay let's say a prayer and when we do say a prayer she will then pray for um, what she's seen on 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 the telly or what mm. she's seen on on the internet and she will pray for those because she was really touched on a on a much deeper level mm. and all of a sudden she she realizes that even if a bedroom is not as big as she would like it to be she's incredibly blessed to have a bedroom and a little thing sometimes like you know i come across people who say you know uh, it's too early for children to get into prayers or it's uh, very early for children to be introduced to faith you know matters of faith let them decide when they grow up what do you say to them well i think that god has given free will and i will never try to you know in the fair from being say anyone to do this and to do that because i respect free will i will always what we, i think we can do is just to express an opinion and if, especially if people ask you for an opinion when it's on your right to give it hmm. if people don't want to hear it sometimes it's just better to give an example um, by the way you live and maybe they find out that your children you know maybe you don't have the same uh, a problem with your children because they're very well behaved and my girls are very well behaved and because uh, I listen to them and I I give them a lot of respect mm. and they know I tell them all the time they got a voice they can express themselves mm. and if I'm not happy about something we can sit down and they know they can tell me and because they got that freedom of expression uh, very rarely they, they get frustrated about anything so we got a very peaceful environment mm. which is so important because how can we promote peace Absolutely. if we don't have peace in our own uh, homes and our own lives you know we can't share it with the world there's a lovely i think it's a chinese uh, say they say you know if you want peace in the nation there has to be peace in your community and, and if you want peace in your community there has to be peace in your house and it has to start from there yes. in you know in, in our own relationship with the people who are around us and the people who you know we love so you don't think it's especially important to start early you know normally if the kids are 
you know, you initiate them early with the examples of your own lives, then it's easier. Because, uh, you know, we've seen that where the grandparents have been, you know, in a way faithful and religious and believed in God, the parents, especially the, I think the journey from back home to here and the way the West influenced the feeling or connect with the God. And then they've left it to that point where when it comes to children, uh, they do not feel that connect to God. Do you think, or is it just because we come from, from India, we use West as just probably our lack of interest in something or West does influence in a way that it affects your faith in God? What is your take on it? The concept of West affecting your relationship with faith, your relationship with God. Well, I, um, I've seen this interesting program and we're talking about the internet and uh, how much everyone has got, has got access to the internet all around the world. So I was thinking that, you know, when you, you talk about the East, you know, you are a very spiritual, uh, you call it very spiritual uh, culture, you know. India has produced so many wonderful saints and gurus and still, you know, it's doing it all the time, which is a, a lot of the gurus from, uh, from the East, you know, have inspired millions of people in the West. But what uh, has been happening, I think, is that because of the Internet, people have got access to see, you know, the wealth and uh, they do play that on, on TV programs a lot. Mm, mm. So I think that even in poor uh, countries, they are seeing that wealth and people are starting to, you know, they actually desire to have that kind of wealth. Mm. But they don't realize, I think that, you know, wealth, you know, is, is important to have a comfortable life. But uh, as soon as we got a comfortable life, I think, you know, we got more than enough. Yes. And I think true wealth is the inner wealth. And, how uh, do, exactly, how yeah. do we, Stop and understand that a comfortable life where you have a comfortable home and enough to eat is enough. Yes, well, I think it all comes to, you know, an inner peace and inner happiness. So do you think, so the concept of West in a way then that does affect because the show of wealth, the opulence, yeah, well, I think the, the comfort the or luxury, you know, affected, you know, one each another, another so one much, another. so much, you know, obviously you had. Uh, so the people in the West are trying to be more at peace, trying to. Because they had that experience yes. of uh, material wealth and they are sort of realizing, you know, you know, yeah, I want this enough. car, I want yes. another car, I want a bigger house, but it's never, it's never, it's never enough, ending. Yeah. Never ending. Mm. And I think what, uh, I think the West has learned from so many gurus from the East is that, you know, inner peace give you the ultimate that, uh, you know... You so probably, you know, for. sometimes we do also have this, uh, uh, you know, generally in conversation it comes up that, you know, now the people from India Open Job would need to come and learn Sikh aspect of life from these countries because they are more and more into the material side of things while here, as you said, people have experienced that wealth and they, do, they are, again, going back to the roots, trying to look for peace again. So I think in general sense, where we talk about, you know, climate change and a lot of things happening at global level, every environment is changing. I, I was once reading about the president of Uruguay, probably you've read as well. He's the, one of the poorest presidents in the world who lives in a very small farm and uh, whatever salary he gets as a president is donated to various charities and he still tills the land. And he says that, you know, the fact that in West everyone has his own car and if you try to sell those cars to everyone in the East, there would be a global crisis. Obviously, there would be rising big carbon time, on this yes, big time. Uh, absolutely. So if you're trying to give those aspirations to the people out there who, who are in big numbers, you know, where the population is not even under control, if you try to give, say, there are 10, 10 in a family and you try to give everyone a car and you give that aspiration to the people down there, you are actually creating global chaos. But I don't think it's coming even from the West in the sense that in a way it's come through the Internet. The Internet has given access to probably looking at lifestyle in the West, which is pictured on the TV. 
But sometimes you see, you know, a lot of this, uh, you know, well. In the media, people. I think the media, the media has, has media got is obviously making... a great impact. And I think that it's our responsibility. You know, technology is good. It, it mm. is a good thing it is, when it it's is. used to to the betterment of our, our you know lifestyle and the betterment of uh, you know make our lives comfortable. Absolutely. Uh, so Rather than good, when technology keeps pointing that. This is what you don't have. This is what you don't have. Every time something comes on telly, my, my son says, oh, I want that game and I want that game, you know, forgetting about what he already has. Yes. So I think create uh, media. Do you think somewhere the media then does have to take responsibility for transforming the aspirations of the people? And if they do, what do we do as, say, I, I can understand as so from a community channel like Sangha Television, we do try to play our own parts. But the massive information which is going out through different media how 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 do we as people general as community say okay but you know hang on we we don't have to emulate everything that's being shown on tv well i believe it how do we take we, take charge of our in, own lives individually basically? we've got the power hmm. to take charge of our own lives we've got the power to change we've got the power to make a big difference in this world and I think it's when we realize that we can do it individually, you know, as individual and uh, coming together as a collective uh, group, then, uh, you know, the changes will start to happen. Mm. Because God is always playing uh, his, uh, you, know, his uh, you know, they say, you know, the big play of God. Uh, and uh, but I think we have to start from within mm. because that is the first thing and maybe the only thing we can change but they do say you know that if you can change one person you've changed the world yes and why don't start with ourselves absolutely you know in the way we are and um, if we can find inner peace within ourselves that inner peace is already going to spread out and it's going to touch other people and then they in turn will touch other people and it will be like a chain reaction it so that's be. why it I'm hoping be. that today more people will join with one minute of silence, just one minute of silence. Uh, there is also um, a prayer that people can say, but it doesn't really matter because can say sometimes time, yes. people can say the prayer in, uh, in whichever way they want because it's your way of talking to God. Absolutely. And uh, our one is uh, source of my being. Help me to live in peace and save my home, the planet Earth. Wow. And I think maybe we could give uh, just a few moments of silence maybe mm. today, if it's mm. possible, just towards world peace, and maybe people could join uh, in the silence just for a few seconds, and just feel that peace that is within all of us, uh, and really spread it, and ask our friends to join, uh, and to make a difference. Because we, as individuals, have an enormous amount of power. I think so too. And you know, normally, sometimes when you are not talking, doesn't necessarily mean that you are at peace. Because there's so much noise going inside you. Yeah, the mind. The yes. mind. So you are quieter, but you are, in a way, trying to calm down the ocean of noise inside you. Have you ever been through that phase as a human being? I think most of us do. What do you do then? Well, I think it is so important to make time every day just to connect to yourself, to your inner self, you know, to your inner God. So God is always there and He's always listening. Uh, and all He does, He just waits for you to, to steer your mind and to really listen to, to your own heart. And when you listen to your own heart, then, uh, you know, He then uh, speaks to you in uh, many different ways. Absolutely. So, Ajitesh's program, which I think it's time to nearly wrap up the whole thing. If there are a few uh, things that you want to mention, that the, you know, you, we have about 30 seconds to wrap this up. If you want to say something as the parting message to Thank the audience. Thank you so much. Please, please, uh, you know, consider to join. One minute of silence for world peace, uh, for your own peace, individual peace, as well as the collective world peace. And... Uh, you can uh, go to our website, www.thesilentminute.org.uk. You can register, so you can be counted amongst those who give silence towards world peace. And you can ask your family and friends to join. And together, 
we will make a big difference for our planet and for our children. So, today's program is going to wrap up. There are a lot of thoughts because today's life is going to be a lot of people who are living in the world. We have a lot of things that we have left behind. First, that the Guru has taken the Guru's life, the Guru has given the Guru's life, the Guru has given the Guru's life, the Guru has given the Guru's life. गुरु घर जाइए कुछ सीखन जाइए अपना बोझ झड़ के जाइए एक अंदर अपना पांडा खाली करके साफ करके जाइए ताँ जो तो मिल रहा है ग्रहण करके साम के रख सकिए तो फिर उसने साम के प्रैक्टिकल करिए अपने जीवन में ऐसा बनाइए कि हर सारे यहाँ तो जीवन में छू के जो है गुरबानी दा असर नजर आए क्यों ऐसी संता माँ उन्हें दिनाल आले दुआले नो बहुत ही पॉजिटिव इफेक्ट मिलता है, सो जिथे रोला रप्पा बाहर है क्योंकि अंदर है ऐसकर के बाहर है, जो अंदर शांति है फिर बाहर भी शांति है, जो अंदर है वो बाहर है, जो ब्रह्मण्डे सोई पिंडे जो खोजे सो पावे, how do we do that? How do we realize this power of silence? How do we realize the power of prayer? कि मैं ऐसी अरदास नो वापस अपने � कि मैं परमात्मा के नाम नो एवरी डे सर्दी लाइफ ता है सब ना सकते हैं कि मैं ये जागृति अपने बच्चियां वेच खुद वेच ले आ सकते हैं कि परमात्मा ही है जिसने मिलन लिए से आए हैं तो वो ही चीज़ है जो सानो सारे अनु पूरे दुनिया वेच मैटर नॉन मैटर हर चीज़ नो कनेक्ट कर दिया क्योंकि ओम्नि साढ़े जीवन वाकई तब्दील हो सकता है तो जब साढ़े चेंज होएगा साढ़े परिवार दा होएगा परिवार तो कम्युनिटी दा कम्युनिटी तो फिर कंट्रीज इस तरह ऐसे ग्लोबल पीस वाल जा सकते हैं सो एक ऐसे तरह ही पॉजिटिव सोच देना प्रोग्राम दी समाप्ति है अगले हफ्ते नवे विषय नवे विचारण नल फिर हाजिर होंगे उम्मीद कर दें आज दा प्रोग्राम थोड़ा बहुत पसंद आया होगा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन बहुत धन्यवाद वाहेगुरु जी का खालसा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह